John, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, in the search for consonance between science and theology, which most philosophers of religion and theologians for sure, and some scientists like, um, and, and to, to try to seek this harmony. I'm all for social harmony, but consonance can, uh, uh, can, can bring in a uh, you know, false information. It could, it, maybe there shouldn't be consonance. I mean, if science is really right and religion is really wrong, to create consonance is a disservice to humanity. So I'm not interested in consonance in its own <clears throat> right for the sake of it. I mean, I like social harmony and people shouldn't hurt each other. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, 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 it's, it's a question of truth. And people have different truths, but how do you, how do you get truth? So how, how do you articulate consonance and truth in, in bringing science, in, in, in understanding this relationship? And, I'm, you know, calling on your experience as a historian of science in particular, uh, about about how it has happened in the past, what we can learn from it now. Well, I like my uh, consonances with a little dissonance, you know, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I can think of uh, an interesting episode that uh, might illustrate both a little consonance and a little dissonance. And uh, this has to do with um, the question whether the Big Bang and creation uh, ex nihilo are somehow from consonant right. from nothing, uh, somehow consonant. And uh, it happened that the first uh, expression of the uh, Big Bang was uh, worked out by uh, a priest named Georges Lemaitre, right. uh, who from Einstein's uh, equations uh, devised the notion of the cosmic egg, as he called it, from which everything ultimately hatched. Because Einstein actually had as his model a static universe. That's right. And Even though he had the, the equations right for general relativity as field equations, he interpreted that uh, as a static universe. Strange, isn't it, that the, <laughs> that the great revolutionary should have gone for the status quo? <laughs> but in any case, so Lemaitre was one of the first to see in the... Uh, uh, the equation is the possibility of an expanding universe, and he has this uh, notion that it started off from some very small speck, which mm. he called the cosmic egg. Yeah, pro pro approximately what year was that? Uh, in the late 20s, or okay. around 19, yeah, late 20s. Okay. And uh, this uh, became known to the Pope, uh, Pius XI, I think, at the time, and uh, he thought that was terrific because it seemed that there was about to be consonance <laughs> between uh, the latest scientific theory and what the Catholic Church had known for all time. And so he spoke to Lemaitre, who at the time was the head of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, mm -hmm. and he says, what a great idea. <laughs> Lemaitre says, no way. You don't want to hitch your <laughs> eternal truths up to the passing fancies of science. We did that once before in Galileo's case, and what a disaster it proved. Uh, and so the Pope did not go forward with that initiative. That, that, that's, a, that's a terrific story, and to yeah, much think, a great credit to, yes, to say that. indeed, I think, uh, being a priest, a physicist, and a wise man. Yeah. And even though... That's a consonance for you. <laughs> and even though what he's, his theory, at least as, as far as we know, is absolutely correct. He was still correct in not hitching the, 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 the theological uh, um, commitments, uh, ultimate commitments to that, because it could change. And even if it couldn't change, just uh, the, the, uh, the nature of trying to prove your theology by the science, I, I would have some problems with even even on a philosophical basis. Of course, they, they have different authorities. I mean, they, they, you can't get revelation out of uh, physics. So does that negate the whole concept of so-called nat natural theology, uh, where you're uh, you know looking at the structure of the world to uh, uh, to infer um, the nature of, of of God if there is a God? I don't see that it does. Uh, that you can have consonance is not identity, okay. <laughs> and uh, you could have, uh, no doubt, uh, uh, ongoing program in natural uh, theology, which could be 
kept from con conflict <laughs> with the uh, ongoing science, uh, it's when revelation comes in, when you have another truth, uh, uh, right. another source of truth, right. uh, that uh, you get into trouble. Right, right. Um, what, what are some other historical examples uh, of, of potential consonance with a little dissonance? Yeah, <laughs> well, well, here's another one which I uh, looked into uh, some time ago, which is on a different level. It's not uh, a, uh, a question of doctrine, but a question rather of uh, some sort of consonance or agreement uh, in the pursuit of uh, astronomical research. And this has to do with the building of uh, solar observatories inside of Catholic churches, large Catholic churches, uh, and uh, for the purpose, from the church's point of view, of tracking the sun. These uh, installations are essentially large sundials, mm -hmm. which have one mark, the noon mark, and uh, the observer patiently tracks the uh, noon image of the sun throughout the year. So when the sun is high, it's close to the vertical. When the sun is low in the winter, it's uh, some distance, sometimes a very long distance, depending upon the height of the hole, mm -hmm. uh, away from uh, the, in the church. And uh, churches were used just for that reason. They're big places, they're dark places. Mm -hmm. Most of them have stopped settling, so the mm -hmm. hole will be there for a good long time. Mm -hmm. And one followed the uh, image for a year or two and uh, found a good value for the number of days it took for this image to come back to the same place. That's the length of the year, mm -hmm. and you need the length of the year in order to do your calendars for uh, Easter and whatnot. That was the interest of the church. But the guys who built it, the astronomers, saw that they could do some interesting astronomy with it. In particular, it's possible uh, to uh, decide whether the sun's orbit or the earth's as you please uh, is an ellipse or a circle mm, mm. so that's a, so, so so that's in a sense a uh, a consonant because both are using the same scientific thing for different purposes it's quite different purposes and so there's a um, there's a consonance there so i mean what you're doing is enriching this concept of consonants and maybe that we, that traditionally people have this is strictly this metaphysical mm -hmm. view and perhaps there are these other elements to it to understand how science and religion work together in the modern world. Yes, and a little bit of dissonance in the story, yeah. of course, is that demonstrating that the orbit is more an ellipse than a circle favors the Keplerian, oh, Copernican sure. side of the business. Right. The, and, the sun and, is and, the center and, of the world, not, not the Yeah, earth. And, and this is going yeah. on. At the, these observations are going on at the same time that the church still was uh, oh. uh, 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 prohibition of the Copernican theory so was still in they force. got hoisted by their own petard. You their might own. say so. <laughs> so there is some uh, happy dissonance in this uh, uh, consonance, but it seems to me that you can go further along these lines. And uh, uh, for example, the recent encyclical or statement of uh, Francis in favor of, uh, well, not in favor of climate change, but rather calling attention to its uh, the dangers and so forth, uh, and in, in essence taking environmentalist point of view, does agree with uh, uh, some important, a very important uh, line of scientific inquiry now. Uh, and so that's a... That's okay. another concept. Yeah, sure, sure. And, and, and on that aspect, in terms of environmental, I think there's a, the, the, that, that makes a lot of sense. It uh, does. And there, the, the church's uh, interest, uh, having gotten away from uh, God's giving uh, Adam the uh, <laughs> dominion over all the animals and the right to exploit the earth, now we're, <laughs> now we're, now we're preserving it for uh, future generations. And that's a, a, a terrific uh, 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 input into the story. So one should not think by any means that uh, the practice that uh, results from the theology is going to put the church uh, in conflict with science. About which I should say one more thing, lest we give the wrong impression, and that is our examples have been about uh, the Roman Catholic Church, or anyway, about Christianity, and there's a lot more in the world that we sure. could and should discuss.